Could Ublek stop a 50 cal sniper rifle? This is the mysterious substance known as Ublek. It's a mixture of cornstarch and water. We have roughly 10 gallons here. We have Fred lined up behind it. And so check this out. Ublek, if you put your hand in gently, it's liquid. So if you move your hand slowly in it, it just looks like liquid. I can cup it, can lift it up. See, it's just running through my fingers here. But then if you hit it or if a force comes at it hard, then it hardens up and it like basically becomes a solid instantaneously. So now I can punch it. That is rock solid. I'm punching it hard. In theory, a bullet travels fast. So in theory, it would harden up and become solid and then stop a bullet if it was traveling really fast. Bill and I would be proud. He wouldn't probably like the guns part, but look at this. I, look, it just turned to liquid. Isn't that crazy? So I'll try to grab it and I pull it out and I literally can't pull it out. And then I relax my hand and it just completely turns to liquid. If you put your hand in it and you try to pull it out really quick, you can't. It just like hardens up. It's like quicksand. Look at that. How is that real life? So we mixed our water with a whole bunch of these deals. This is 16 ounces of cornstarch. And then we mixed it with this drill. And now it's so thick that if I try to mix it with this drill, it like won't even do it. Ah! All right, we're starting out with our Ruger 1020. You have a massive spider behind you. I'll get it. Got him. All right, as usual, we are starting out small. We're starting out with our Ruger 1022. So let's see what it does to our Ruger. All right, here we go. Here's our 22. Got a little splash. What? It didn't even go through the plastic. No. Did it? Dude, that's not, that is not a hole. You don't think that's a hole? I don't think so. Let me get my knife and check. That's a 50 cal round. Yeah, it works as a knife too. So I'm just gonna put my finger in and confirm here. Yeah, that is, it literally just bounced off. There's no hole through the front of our tub here. And this is just really thin plastic. So that's crazy that the Ublek hardened up enough to where it just like didn't even let it through the plastic. I can't believe this. I'm shocked. So for all the scientists out there, Ublek is also known as a non-Newtonian fluid. What, is, what does that even mean? It just means that Ublek is not Newtonian. What, what does Newtonian even mean? Yeah, it's a great question. So basically Isaac Newton would categorize a liquid as Newtonian, meaning it was Isaac Newton approved or non-Newtonian meaning not approved by Isaac Newton. Did you just make that up? No. And we're moving up to our 380. We have a hollow point around here. We have our Ruger Security 380 and let's see what it does. All right, we got our 380 against Ublek. Here we go. All right, it's kind of oozing out the front here very slowly and it did not come out the other side. So our tub of Ublek was able to stop the 22 and the 380. Um, let's get this patched up. This video is sponsored by Flex Tape. For all your sealing, bonding, and repairing needs, there's only one way to go, Flex Tape. Are they paying us? We still don't have any sponsors. Put the camera down. Let's just pretend that we have a sponsor so people don't think we are stupid. Thick, rubberized backing, even works underwater. Flex Tape. I'm loving it. All right, we're moving up to a fat round of 45 ACP out of our 1911 here. Ublek has stopped our 22, it stopped our 380. So we have a significantly bigger round here, but it's not a very fast caliber. So we'll see if the Ublek can stop it. All right, we got Ublek oozing out the front here. Came all the way out the other side and then it's coming out the back. Fred is hit right here. Let's get this in another bin and then we'll move up. All right, so our 45 ACP went through our tub. It was not as bulletproof as we were hoping, but I still think there's hope when we move up to the AR. The AR did not go far at all in the swimming pool, whereas actually slower bullets hold together and they actually have more penetrating power when it comes to water. So maybe the AR will have a chance before we move up to that, we're gonna do like a mini durability test. So I'm just gonna start, we got like this rubber mallet here. Pretty dry. I'm hitting that thing hard, dude. And then if I just drop it in slowly, just sinks in like liquid. Sinks in and... Ah! Oof. 
Baseball bat. All right, let's see what happens to our arrow here. So it is going through a little bit, but it's not going to the bottom of the tub. So I wonder if that's why our bullets are going through because they're just going too fast and they're too precise. Whereas the mallet and the bat are bigger, uh, that blunt force, it's able to stop it. But something like this, it's able to sneak through a little bit. But I mean, it still is stopping it. I'm hitting it hard with this arrow and it's not going to the bottom of the tub. And then there you go, now it goes all the way down if you just let it go. All right, let's move up to the AR. All right, man, our Ublek stopped our hammer, stopped our baseball bat. It did not stop our 45 ACP. Let's see what it does with the 223. We have uh, some 223 here. We're gonna shoot it with our AR. And this round is gonna travel so fast, maybe it'll disintegrate. Let's find out. I think it's gonna stop it. You think it's gonna stop it? I think it's gonna stop it. Yep. Let's find out. All right, here we go. This is our AR against our Ublek. Brad, this is our entry right here from the AR. It busted the sides. You see it's just oozing out on both sides. Wow, it's really coming out quick. And I see a crack here, but I don't see a clear exit from the AR. I think it stopped it. So our Ublek stopped the AR, did not stop the 45 ACP, but it is leaking really bad here. So Let's should we shoot it. it quickly with the 50 cal? Yeah. Okay, let's get the 50 cal set up before it all leaks out. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. We're losing Ublek quickly. I'm gonna hit it with the 50 cal here. We got a standard round of 50. We'll see how it holds up. Good luck, Fred. All right, you ready? Yep. Firing. Fred. Broke the table. That was crazy. Let me get my crazy shades. That was actually insane. The whole table broke. I mean, maybe I hit it kind of low and that's why it broke. We're at like 20 yards right here. And typically this, this uh, 50 cal hits like four inches low from there, but the whole table is broken. We got oob like everywhere. It's just dried at this point. Oh, wow. Uh, so this is the side of the container here. It just completely tore off. Oh no, Fred. Wow. So it looks like the bullet kind of redirected down into the right and hit him right here. So see where it just warped the side of his torso right here. Maybe took his hip bone off. Fred did not make it this video. Got him covered in Ublek, sent him flying. I want to see what that slow-mo looks like. Our goal, we see y'all comment all the time, please get a nice, super slow slow-mo camera. The problem is those things are extremely expensive. And so our goal though, is to provide that for you guys. We wanna make the best possible videos. So every single impact of that 50 cal hitting whatever we're shooting looks super cool. This is your challenge. Get us to 5 million subscribers by the end of the year. And I pledge to you that we will get an ultra slow-mo camera. So if we hit five, million subscribers by December 31st at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will buy you guys an absolutely epic super slow-mo camera that we will use in every video. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and go ahead and do, do that so that we can get the slow camera. What a weird video. We had guns stopped. We had some guns go through that we weren't expecting to. We had the 50 cal just destroy everything. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, if you use code FRED at checkout, you get 15% off the entire store. And as a special thank you, we're going to pick one person who uses code FRED in the next 24 hours at yee.com and send you Fred's Ublex shirt. We have a bunch of new stuff that just dropped in our all new tactical launch. We have tactical tees that just released. We have faith tees. We have patriotic tees. We have hats. Uh, we really appreciate you guys. If you buy something from the store, it helps us to afford to keep making these videos. It'll let Zach and I know that we're heading in the right direction. Drop a comment below. Say what's up to us. How'd you like the video? Use code Fred at yee.com and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't have my mic on me yet, did I? Bro, be metal. It's on. Oh, it is on me. <laughs>